It lasts just seconds, but can feel like several minutes. Getting stuck at a red light, especially with no traffic around, is frustrating. So we wanted to learn how are traffic lights timed? And can drivers influence a light to change? Good question. WCCO's Jeff Wagner tempered his intensity behind the wheel to get some answers. Have you ever pulled up to a red light and you're the only car at the intersection and you calmly thought to yourself, why won't it just turn green? Something like that. There's some weird stoplights. I don't know why they're still there, where you're just like, it feels like you just sit there for five minutes at a time. Some people say nudging forward helps, but I'm not sure how effective that is. I've pulled up to a light and I've flashed my brights. Is that just like an old myth? That is definitely an old myth. Steve Mosing is a traffic operations engineer for Minneapolis Public Works. How are the traffic lights timed? So we have about 815 signals in the city of Minneapolis, and most all of the signals are timed on what we call a pre-timed system. A majority of the traffic lights in the city run on a 100-second cycle, which covers green, yellow, and red, right up to when it's green again. The cycles also vary, lasting a little bit longer during rush hour versus off hours. They'll adjust again for major events like Twins and Vikings games. What type of technology recognizes a car has pulled up, you think? Uh, imaging. Probably like some computer vision. Those are fancy ways of saying there's a camera. The camera detects um, uh, differentiation within the pixels it's recording to make a determination that it's a vehicle. Once detected, signal times can be adjusted if needed. Is the sensor in the street sensing the weight of a vehicle? The sensor in the street has uh, an electrical flux. And so when a vehicle drives over it, it breaks, that, it breaks that flux and it sends a call to our controller that says there's a vehicle there. What else can influence the light timing? Pedestrians, of course. That's especially important in Minneapolis, where foot and bike traffic are part of city life. Those factors, along with making each intersection work in unison, makes it a tall task. It's more of an, more of an art to try to set that at the right um, sweet spot so that we can manage the traffic flow at posted speeds or less. So I just kind of... Jeff Wagner. <laughs> try, to, try to not go through red lights. WCCO 4 News. When Minneapolis changed speed limits on neighborhood streets last year, traffic light times were adjusted. There will be another citywide timing evaluation in about four or five years. If you have a good question for Jeff, just visit him through WCCO.com links.